I know I am late with this video. I was going to try to fit this video in yesterday, but I couldn't do it. This is my discussion of the Xbox Games Showcase, focused on Xbox Series X games. I'm Auckland. If you enjoy my content, please hit the subscribe button, like button. Also, share with your friends who don't mind. Also, please comment. <laughs> Ask me a question or a comment in general. I'll do my best to answer them. Also, if you don't mind, hit the notification bell down below and you will be notified when I go live. Excuse me, or upload another video. Alright, of course, I had a little bit of a pre-show. Uh, the first game uh, was Echo Generation coming in 2021. Um, if I can remember correctly, um, it kind of reminded me of a little bit of Minecraft a little bit. Um, wait a minute. Yeah, I think, I think, I think that's the game. Um, I'm trying to remember what it looked like in my head right now. Uh, I think the characters had like block, blocks for heads or something like that. Uh, and then somebody made a comment at the, uh, at the event during the pre-show. There was talking like the, that game game off, that, that game gave off. Stranger Things vibes, which now that I think about it, yeah, it kind of did a little bit, uh, and it's a turn-based adventure, so looks looks interesting. Uh, next game is um, Exo Mecha. Exo is uh, E X O M E C H A is the name of the game. It's coming out 2021. It's a first-person shooter. Battle Royale, free to play. Alright. And then the actual show finally got started. Um, so here we go. The first game it showed off of, of course, uh, the one that they were expecting to be there. Uh, Halo Infinite. And it showed off gameplay. And I have to say, the gameplay was like... Uh, Kind of like Xbox 360 graphics. I mean, it could have looked so much better. Hey, I'm not the only one that has said this. I mean, I've read tons of comments. I've read, I've, I've heard other YouTubers even talk about this. I mean, I am not hating on that series at all. I'm not hating on Xbox at all. Cause I'm not the only one that said it. The graphics... Of Halo Infinite needs to look better so hopefully by the time that it releases this holiday which will probably be November most likely hopefully the game will actually look better uh, so but the cinematic trailer that they showed off for for Halo before they showed the gameplay off looked gorgeous but the actual gameplay yeah another story next game a uh, state of decay Three, uh, never played any of those games before. Uh, the game looked gorgeous. It and like it was very, very creepy. This uh, character was out in the snow, and uh, she had a gun, and she found some kind of animal that was injured, and there was a zombified look like a zombified deer. So yeah, it was very, very creepy, but gorgeous looking game. Next, of course, this had to be there. But I gotta say something about this, though. I was shocked about the way this game looked. Uh, Forza Motorsports. Um, now, it, it this, this game did not have a title. I mean, like, a number in it. So, I'm not sure what they're trying to do. They're either they're trying to reboot the franchise or what. I don't know. But, Forza Motorsport, when they showed it off, it looked like real life. The graphics looked gorgeous. Beautiful. And they even said, before they started showing it off, that all the footage was captured in-engine. All of it was in the engine of the Xbox Series X. It looked real. It looked like I was watching a TV show. I mean, it looked real. So... Very exciting stuff. I mean, wow. Next was Everwind. Um, I remember to, uh, correctly what it looked like. It the 
graphics style kind of reminds me of Gods and Monsters, if you remember how that game looks. It kind of looks like a painting brought to life. Um, so, yeah, it, it was beautiful in its in its own way, and the game looks really, really fun. Um, and I'm not giving any release dates for these games, but of course, you already know Halo Infinite is coming out this holiday, so that's going to be a launch title. Uh, but the next game is Tell Me Why. I don't know, tell me why. <laughs> tell you why about what, I don't know. But <laughs> that's the title of the game. Um, it's going to be a epic, um, a episodic uh, video game. Some, something like Life is Strange or something like that. Where y the game is cut up into episodes. You, you could buy the episodes separately. Or buy the complete season pass. Or just wait until the physical copy to where all the episodes will be on the disc. But yeah, the game looks beautiful. Um, looks very cool. Tell me why. Um, and it comes out August 27th of this year, 2020. Next was interesting. Uh, Ori and the Will of Wisp is going to be upgraded to the Xbox Series X. And graphics wise, it's going to be able to support... A uh, hundred and twenty hertz, so awesome, uh, very cool. It's coming out sometime this year. It's probably going to be a launch title for the upgrade of that game, most likely. Next was DLC for the Outer Worlds. Um, I don't know if I can pronounce the DLC correctly, but uh, Pearl on Gorgon, Gorgon. Uh, so it's DLC for Outer Worlds. Um, never played the game before. Still, I know it's out pretty much on everything now, including Switch. Uh, but I haven't played it yet. I know it's very, very open world RPG. Uh, it's made by the creators of... Um, I can see the name of the series right now. Fallout. Uh, but yeah, um, very cool that the game's getting DLC. Um... And the DLC will be released on September 9th of this year. Next game was Grounded. Um, I believe it's an open world uh, style game. And it releases on July 28th. Which is coming up very, very soon. It's a very um, cartoony looking game. But there's nothing wrong with that. Because they made a joke in the gameplay. If you don't want to play a game like that, then just wait for a bigger game like Cyberpunk. Which was kind of funny how they made that joke in that trailer. Uh, next game is um, A Vild. A Vild. That's how I said. It. It's A V O W E D. A Vild. It's an open world RPG. I don't remember seeing a release date for it. Next is As As Dusk Falls. It's an interactive game. So, uh, very, very heavy uh, based on story. And you interact with it. So, you, so, never really been a fan of those games too much. But I know they got some cool ones out there that look very, very cool. And that one does look cool too. Especially with the art style. Next is a big one. Um, I'll see if I can pronounce the name right. Set, set, sent, set, Suda, sent, sent, Suda, Saga, Hellblade Two. I'm probably pronouncing the name mostly, definitely wrong. Uh, so I did the best I can. Uh, so yeah, awesome game. Um. I have the first one on Switch, and I haven't played it all that much, but what I've played of it, it's a fantastic game. It's very, very dark. It's really good. Um, as far as I know, it's not going to be coming to Switch, but it's just focused on Xbox. So. Uh, next game is a game I really, really want to play, and I haven't gotten into series, I, series yet, but I want to. It's Synchronauts 2. Uh, and Jack Black was in the video, and he was singing a song that is in the game, so that's really cool. Uh, Jack Black, he's an awesome actor, and, and he actually sings really good. 
uh, because he was in that movie, um, School of Rock, and he can, he, he can sing. But, as I'm saying, I haven't got into Synchronauts, and I know they got uh, a few games in the series. I do want to get into it. That game looks amazing. It's an action-adventure platformer. My kind of favorite types of games to play. Next is Destiny 2. This is a um, a new version of it that's coming to Xbox Series X. And this one had a subtitle is Destiny 2 Beyond Light. And it's going to be released on November 10th of this year. Next is a game that has spaces in between it with dots. And it spells out Stalker 2. Um, don't know too I don't remember seeing too much about it. I remember seeing a little bit of footage and they showed the title off of it. I'm not sure what it's about. I don't remember seeing a release date. So that one's coming out, Starker 2. Next is Warhammer 40,000 uh, Dark Tide. There's a subtitle for it. And it's going to be released on 2021. Next is Tetris Effect Connected. And that's going to be a launch title, Holiday 2020. Tetris, if you know what Tetris is, it's pretty much, you know, you take these blocks and you match them all together as they fall down and all that. And, I mean, I enjoy playing it every once in a while. I'm not a huge fan of it, but a lot of people love Tetris. Now, the next game is another game I love to play. This is called Gunk, The, the Gunk. It's an action-adventure game. Looks like it would be amazing to play. Um, go look it up. Um, it looks awesome. Uh, next game is The Medium. It looked like a horror-style game. Looks very, very beautiful. I wouldn't mind playing that, too. Uh, and both of those games didn't have release dates, um, but they probably will later on, most likely. All these games that don't have release dates will get them eventually now next is new genesis uh fantasy star online 2 and they got a release date of 2021 next game is crossfire x is set to be released sometime this year of 2020 and next they didn't announce the game but they talked about next gen hardware uh will upgrade the older games for free like games like Gears of War 5 is going to be upgraded to the Xbox Series X meaning with um, 4K and um, all that s support that the console pulls out and it's just older games like that that were on the Xbox One and it's going to be all upgraded to the Xbox Series X for free which is cool my nose Last game is a game that people have been wanting for a long time, and they finally confirmed it. Fable. Very beautiful looking game. I, if I remember correctly, Fable is an RPG, uh, and it was kind of messed up about the trailer for it. They had this fairy, and she was flying around, and all of a sudden, this frog ate her with his tongue, and well... She was gone. <laughs> that was messed up. So, yeah. Uh, but it looked very, very beautiful. And that's all we got. We got just a little bit of footage. Got the title, and that was it. No gameplay. So that was the teaser for the upcoming new Fable game. It's either going to be a, a remake, I mean a, a reboot, or it's, or it's the fourth game, and they're just calling it Fable. So that's my discussion of the Xbox games showcase for 2020 all right thanks so much all right bye